Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is Saturday, January 12th, 2019. How are we doing today? How are we doing tonight? Wherever you are in this great big world, I hope you're doing all right. If you are here in the Midwest, you are dealing with this snowstorm because winter decided to finally join us. Fucking global warming and shit. But anyway, welcome to another exciting episode of Introduction to the Necronomicon. This video is dedicated full on, full on dedicated to my brother Waylon from the Black Tower. You can find his channel, as well as my other brother, Magicology, in the description down below. If you've ever wanted to work with the Necronomicon, or know more about it, those are your go-to sources, in my opinion. I always credit them, and I always point people to them. Whenever I make a blog post... Or one of these videos. I give credit where credit is due. Unlike some people in the pagan witch community. In fact, funny story. I'm going to go into the full thing in a late night rant and ramble. But, uh, someone in the pagan witchy YouTube community is a psychic vampire. Now, I've dealt with this person for the last month. And I pretty much said, get in the ditch with the rest of the trash and stay in 2018 because 2019 all the trash stays in 2018 well a few days ago Thursday going into Friday this person comes around trying to start another drama-filled action event. Then comes around to my channel. And tries to start shit. At the time, I didn't think about it. But I was feeling like shit after they came around. I thought maybe I was just constipated or I was dehydrated. But something was telling me to say, dude, recite this purification invocation. Well, sure enough, I wasn't constipated. Dehydrated? Eh, there was a possibility that I was dehydrated. So when I got done doing my business, proving that I wasn't constipated... I got me a good couple of drinks of water. And I started feeling better. I thought, well, damn, maybe I am dehydrated. Then this person comes around again today. Friday going into Saturday. Trying to start shit again. Because this person has nothing better to do with their fucking life. Other than belittle people, harass, stalk, and bully people? Because her life's so fucking pathetic. If she ain't getting attention, she has to resort to those tactics and blame others for it. 
Those in the know know who I'm talking about. I ain't gonna give this filthy bitch any service by naming her. But it clicked on me because I started feeling like shit again. After she came around. I'm like, this filthy bitch is a filthy fucking psychic vampire. Which is funny because on Coast to Coast AM this week, there was a person talking about psychic vampires. And... They meet the criteria of a psychic vampire. Narcissistic out the asshole. And I'm like, okay. I figured it out. I, instead of, well, instead of getting my copy of the Necronomicon or my Grimoire, I went to my blog post on Amino. And that's where the title Introduction of the Necronomicon comes from. The Necronomicon is just a video version of it, by the way. So I go to my blog post because... I'm feeling like shit. And I'm laying down, by the way. Excuse me. Royal Crown Cola make me burp. So I'm laying down. I'm like, shit. I go to my blog post. I recite the preliminary purification invocation of Ishtar. I recite it three times. That's what I do. Now, my brother, he does it a little bit differently. He likes to do things a little bit differently, and I try doing it his way. But I ended up doing it a little differently. <laughs> uh, taking the years of guided meditations from... Uh, psychic development, uh, introduction to magic, the meditation classes, intuitive living classes, all at my local metaphysical shop here in Indianapolis called The Inner Path. And basically your standard breathe in the white light, hold it, breathe out, and it takes the negative crap away from you. I recited this three times because that's what I do. And I felt hella better. Basically, picture this. You're walking. It's raining hard. You're walking along. A car comes by and splashes you from a puddle. You're soaked. You're drenched on top of already being soaked and drenched from the rain. You slip and you fall into some mud. Like this mud puddle. You just fall right into it. Splat. You're covered in mud now. On top of being drenched. You finally make it home. You take off your clothes, you get into that hot shower, and you clean yourself. That's basically what this invocation is, a hot shower, except for the outside is on the inside. Cleansing away all that filth and negativity you absorbed from the day. And it works well against psychic vampires.
I no longer felt like shit. I have a headache from it, as I did the other day. But I'd rather take the headache than feeling exhausted and drained. That's what the invocation stopped. It stopped me from feeling exhausted and all my energy just sucked out of me. So yeah, I'll take the headache. And I'm still dealing with that headache, but I'm fucking full of piss and vinegar today. So I breathe in the white light, I hold my breath, and then I release, envisioning all of that negative energy just being taken out of me. Now he works with the chakras on his. From the ground up, when you are working with the divine from the heavens, and from the head down, when you are working with the divine of the underworld. Makes sense. You know. And like I said, I tried doing that, but I ended up going with what's working for me. Now, I don't know how often he recites his. But, like I said, I like to do it three times. Because three is a magical number. And I do it the same way each time. Deep breaths. Recite. Deep breaths between each line. To kind of match up with the, you know, the seven chakras. So. Now. He said you can recite this before you go to bed. And you can recite this when you wake up. In fact, he prefers you to do it when you wake up and before you go to bed each day. But maybe once a week if you are uh, a little lazy. Because this is like taking a hot shower. Thus is why he recommends doing it every day. Twice every day. And after this event, I don't fucking blame him. You don't have to be a practitioner of the Necronomicon. You can be of Kemetic, you can be of Wiccan, you can be of uh, Luciferian, Satanism. Um, Joe Schmo, basically. And recite this. It's open for everybody. Which I think is pretty cool. So, if you have the Necronomicon, turn to page 110. Now, before we begin, I want to mention that... Uh, he mentioned this to me. Back in December... Uh, I want to say the 18th was when my aunt passed away and I performed a prayer ritual for her to pass safely into the next world. I do it when they're still alive and I do it when they pass away. That way our Reshkigal can, you know, safely guide them.
And I always feel like shit when I do anything with a Reshkigal. And then this past December, on the 19th, or the 17th, I forget which, it'll be in the description on when it happened. But I'm pretty sure it was the 18th and 19th. But, um, because it was the week before Christmas. Monday, I performed the ritual because that's when she passed away, sadly. And then Tuesday, I woke up to pain like I've never felt before. And just fucked up. I asked him after I got to feeling better what he thought. He told me what he thought. And it makes sense because every time I do something with a rush giggle, I always feel like shit in some way, shape, or form. Considering the fact that I'm working with underworld energy, that's not safe. <laughs> It'll kill you. That's right, folks. Working with the underworld energy, it'll kill you. Literally. And he told me to recite this. And he mentioned it in a video because I said that would make a good video. He said it is in a video. So I scoured his videos for a week trying to find it. But then he brought it up in his interview with... Uh, Magicology. After bringing it up in the live stream that I had for Solstice. Um, funny thing is, he said page 89, which is the... Um, Exorcism of Ankia and I'm like, huh, that's not right. But here's the funny thing. And this is what makes the book paranormal. Believe me, don't believe me, I don't care. Although there are a few other people that have had these experiences. And I don't even know them. But uh, when he told me, I'm like, okay. I open up my book to the page 110. I'm thinking, is, is this it? I'm like, no, he said this page. Into which I can understand because, you know, he has this memorized quite well. And when you have it memorized, you really don't need to know what page it's on when you have it memorized. I like that. I'm like, huh. But my instincts were right. Uh, because, you know, page 110 has Ishtar in it. I'm like, huh. And then... This book... has a way of giving you things that you need to know when you need to know them. This book will hide things from you. You'll read it, and then you'll read it again, you'll be like, wait a minute, that wasn't there. You'll get that a lot. And I swear on my life about that. I don't care if you believe me or don't. I swear to you, it'll happen. You'll, you'll get it a lot. You're going to read it? And he'll be like, I swear that wasn't there last time. I 
That's just how this book is. It is a piece of a living entity. Or energy, if you will. Avon Books bestseller. So now let's get to the purification itself. Like I said, um, I would heed my brother's advice by reciting it twice a day. I take three deep breaths to focus. And then I recite, Bright one of the heavens, wisest star. I breathe in, I hold it, and then I release. Mistress of the gods, whose yes is truly yes, breathe in, hold it, release. Proud one among the gods, whose command is supreme, breathe in, hold it, release. Mistress of heaven and of earth, who rules in all places, in, hold it, and then out. Ishtar, at your name, all heads are bowed down. Breathe in, hold it, breathe out. Now this part, I want to mention that, um, I don't know if you're supposed to say your name and your parents' name. I've been doing that. Because there's like two ellipses here. Um, so basically what I've been doing is breathe in, hold it, breathe out, and then I say I, William, son of Connie, have bowed down before you. That's the way I've been doing it. That's what my intuition's been telling me. Breathe in, hold it, release. May my body be purified like lapis lazuli. Breathe in, hold it, release. May my face be bright like alabaster. Breathe in, hold it, release. Like shining silver and reddish gold, may I not be dull. And then one final breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. And that's what I've been doing. I recite it three times exactly like that. Breathing in the pure white light of Ishtar. Seen here in this uh, artwork from the game Legend of the Cryptids. Uh, according to the sources I've looked up online, uh, this is supposed to be Ishtar, which... It's fitting because the light side is Anana, the dark side is Ereshkigal. Uh, both of them make up this being called Ishtar. Uh, this is your triple moon goddess here, folks. Sexy as fuck, dude. Just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just super saying. But uh, it's neither here nor there. But reciting this will make you feel better. It's a good way to cleanse the crap that's inside of you out. Just even reading that has made me feel a little bit better. But like I said, I'm going to go into more into that, but, uh, just be careful, huh? 
So I hope you found this video informative. Um, I really don't have anything else to say other than to check his channel out. Check out my other brother's channel out. Um, you know... I tried doing it his way, but I ended up doing it something I'm accustomed to, which... Uh, Which I don't think is a bad thing, honestly. But... but the visualization is important here. You want to breathe in that white light regardless of whether you're using it his way, which is cleansing the chakras, or just my way of just bathing and cleansing all of the negativity in me, which includes my chakras. Just breathing it in, taking it out. So, I hope you found this video informative. I hope this helps. It's helped me. Thus is why my brother is getting a full-on dedicated video here. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to be a practitioner of the Necronomicon. So, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for listening. And, uh, Catch y'all later. I want to say all my links are in the description. If you want to come find me, if you want to come kicks it with me, you can find me in the links provided. Questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to uh, let me know. Be sure to click that little bell. Stay informed. I will catch y'all later. Love y'all.